Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a knife video and today I want to talk about some upcoming videos and I want to talk about a mail call that is pretty stinking exciting. So as many of you will be aware, um, when you're a knife reviewer, you need content and you get requests from people. Hey, what about this? What about that? Can you, what do you think of, you know, who knows, fill in the blank, right? And the problem with that is the, the reality that, that we all live with is we have budgets and so we can't always afford every single thing that we want. Now, recently I was quite curious and I've been quite curious actually to check out some stuff from Tactile Turn or Tactile Knife and uh, had a couple questions about it. So I reached out to Steve who, you know, we have talked many, many times. Um, he's over at... Uh, Thunderbird gear, which you can see right here. Let me pull this out so you can actually, there you go. So Thunderbird gear over in Bolton online business too, of course, but they do, you know, they have a physical store uh, or he has a physical store. Anyway, I touch base with Steve. I say, Hey, have you got any tactical tactile stuff in stock? Uh, the, the tactile turn rock wall I was pretty interested in, and I've been wanting to try a pen for a long time. So you know, Steve gets back to me. He says, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I do. If you want to check it out, uh, let me know and I can send some stuff out to you. So I've got some stuff from Steve. Now he did also ask me, is there anything else you want to take a look at? And so I looked around on the website for a bit and yeah, there were some things. And so as a reviewer, getting a chance to, to handle some stuff that you're really curious about that you want to share with your audience is a huge plus. Uh, and of course, being able to get that stuff without having to pay for it is really really important if you're going to have a, a youtube channel that's sustainable because otherwise you know what are you going to do you know after your first i don't know 10 youtube videos you're broke okay so here we have the typical care package that probably many of you are used to getting i love by the way that steve has added some canada knife and gear swag we've got a sticker here we've got a um, card here and then he's also including these little pens which are pretty neat they uh, you know the pen sort of disappears into the lid makes this a very very small EDC option uh, so I'll stick all that stuff back in the container with my or back in the little bag here with my expression of um, thanks to Thunderbird Gear and Steve over there. And uh, I'll say go over and give him a look. If you, especially if you want or like anything that I'm about to share in this video, uh, go ahead and take a look over there because it all came from Thunderbird Gear. And I'm sure Steve would appreciate you going over there and buying it from him. Um, by the way, some of this stuff, the other, the other thing that's going on with some of this gear is it's not stuff that I would be interested in buying and owning for my collection. And I did say that to Steve right away. I said, look, these are not knives I'm going to buy because, you know, they're just not really in my wheelhouse or they're not things that I'm interested in, but I would love to make some video content with it. He was kind enough then to send me this guy right here. Let's get this out. So. You can see Tactile Knife Company Rockwell with a thumb stud. The blade is MagnaCut with 61 Rockwell hardness. Very, very cool. And it's even signed there who assembled it. So let's take a quick look at this little knife. Now this is a little knife, okay? It's definitely too small for me. The blade length on these is only three inches. But it is three inches of MagnaCut. Also, by the guys, I want to point out, I'm not going to do what I, you know a full review on this stuff because this is <laughs> this is merchandise to be sold. Okay, so no, you know, some of you watching may be going to buy this stuff. You don't want Kevin to have you know slammed it through a car door or done a bunch of, of testing on it before you go and buy it. Uh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time. You know, I'm going to put it in my pocket. I'm going to you know get to know it enough that I can talk with some experience about it but i'm not going to do my typical you know i'm not going to go cutting a bunch of stuff i'm not going to do sort of my typical testing protocol with this knife uh, in fact what i'm going to do instead is kind of baby it and be very very careful with it and then send it back to steve perfectly intact all right so quick rundown though on the knife we have this great drop point magna cut blade with a saber grind it's a Fairly thin blade stock, fairly thin behind the edge. So this is definitely sort of an EDC-oriented knife. 
uh, liner lock here that is a nested liner lock into the titanium handles, which are beautifully machined. And then take a look at this clip. I love the way they've done that clip, how it kind of pops into the, the backspacer there. Now it is going to be single position. You can see there's nothing to accommodate switching that to the other side. Really nice decorative pivot here. And I have to say, from a design standpoint, this is right up my alley. Like it's just, it's clean and and simple. And yet the, the machining here, the detail that this has is really, really interesting and attractive. And it makes the knife very, very compelling for someone who likes smaller knives. Now for me, again, this is a hard pass for me because it's just too small. Um, but I definitely see the appeal here. So there's a quick rundown of the features. I will, of course, come back with a longer video where we discuss things in a bit more detail. And uh, I, I sort of touch on everything that you might want to know about this. But for now, that's uh, my quick first impression. Very nicely done. Very, very clean design. Um, and of course, as expected, a little small for me. Now, something that I have to say I'm a little more compelled by uh, in terms of wanting to own, this is, of course, the tactile turn bolt action pen. And uh, this pen might have to stay here. I really, really like this. Um, it uses a pilot. Uh, if you use, if you have like a pilot G2 pen, uses the same inserts. And the other thing is, if you don't like those inserts, you could spend a little bit of time looking around. Like for me, I always use the um, the pilot G2 fine point, like the 0.38 uh, mil tips. So that would be what I would put in here. Um, it ships with the 0.7. Very, very compelling knife. I just, look at that. Whoops. I slipped off the bolt there, but that is such a fun fidget tool. Wow. Yeah. I, I kind of love this pen. It's it's very, very attractive. The feel in hand is excellent. And the, the way that they've done that machining, look at that. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, this is, this is, um, very impressive. Feels great in hand. I did do a little bit of writing, in fact, with this, and I can tell you, I'll, I'll do a longer video discussion of this, but the, the feel of this is really, really well balanced. All right. I don't want to take too much time on each item because I've still got a couple other really, really cool things to get to. So that's the tactile turn slash tactile knife stuff. Uh, let's grab this guy next. So uh, some of you will maybe recognize the packaging. If not, you can see it's from McNeese. So these are U.S. made. Let's grab the, the stuff here that it ships with. Is it just one card or are there two in here? We've got a sticker. We've got a big heavy card here. So CTSX HP on the steel titanium handle and stainless hardware, uh, McNeese Performance Machined. Wow, you should try to make sure you can read before you try making a video. All right, uh, there's, the, uh, there's the goodies, if you will. And here is the knife. Come on, focus over here. Yeah, look at that. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love the finish on this. Look at that blue. Look at the depth that it has. Hopefully you can see it because it's giving me a hard time focusing. Um, nice little sort of rock pattern on this one. I, there are straight plain handles as well. Um, this knife is much, much too small for me. Let's see if I can open it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very, very satisfying deployment on this. Man, if this was bigger... Uh, it would be very, very compelling. Um, you guys know me very well. You know that this is not going to be in my wheelhouse in terms of size. I think it's about six inches long overall. Uh, two and a half, three inch blade, something like that. Um, obviously, I'll have real measurements for my uh, more detailed video on this. Lock bar tension is very nice. Drops shut. Oh, this is really well done. Um, I will say I've, there's a bit of a conspiracy, a controversy, conspiracy, a bit of a controversy with these knives as they don't have um, stainless steel lock bar inserts. And, you know, it's been well documented, especially in previous years when Hinderer famously didn't use one. 
that it's not totally necessary. Okay, and, and that I stand by that, that they are not totally necessary. Um, but it's something I like to see. Anyway, first impression, this is very, very impressive. The fit and finish is great. The feel in hand is pretty nice. Uh, stocky, hefty little knife. Um, and you guys know I tend to appreciate that stockier, heavier built stuff a little bit more. I think there is a 3.5 inch version of this knife, which I may have to try and get a look at as well. Uh, perhaps Steve will get some in stock and I can, can share one of those with you. So there you go. There is the McNeese. Made it in the USA. Performance machined. And it's a McNeese PM Mac 2 satin with blue rock. Very, very nice. All right. One last thing. I don't know that I saved the best for last, but I saved this for last. Uh, this is from James Brand. Now, what do I say about James Brand? I've had a, a couple of slip joints from James Brand that were where the the tolerances were actually kind of poor. But this one, of course, is the Barnes. Uh, comes with a little uh, morale coin or whatever. Pretty cool. The packaging is quite impressive. This is actually heavy plastic with this sort of insert in it. You can see there's sort of this felt uh, in here. And then look at the machining on this knife. This is a pretty impressive thing. Of course, I you know, I'm familiar with the knife. I kind of know some of the background. Uh, I've got this little lanyard on it. The machining here is really, really nice. These are built for, um, for James Brand by Riot. And it is really, really exceptionally well done. But it's also pretty expensive. Take a close look there. I'm trying to uh, trying to do the design here justice because let me let me say this. This is a beautiful, beautiful knife. From a from a design standpoint. This is very attractive. The machining is pretty impressive. I love the way that they've done the pivot here. Um, nicely done lock bar insert. They've attached it from the outside, which is uh, a nice way to achieve, uh, you know, to get that done. Uh, you know, I've, we've all seen the um, we've all seen the integrals that were missing that, and uh, I don't like that. A little bit of pop of color here with the thumb stud which is also just slightly raised. Now, I'm not sure actually how I feel about that. Um, maybe you can comment down below. If you if this knife was, just had a straight spine here, would it be too plain or would that add something to the, the design? Nicely accessible lock bar, really, really smooth action. Very snappy detent. Pretty, you know, it actually, in, in terms of how this feels, it reminds me an awful lot of a um, of the Chavez built Riots in terms of the, the detent and the smoothness of the action. Per, certainly puts me in mind of that. Uh, the way they've done this is interesting. So a lot of integrals, this is the stop pin, but instead they've actually got a, an internal stop pin there as well, which you can see is accessed with this plate. So another kind of a, a cool um, engineering feat there. So again, I'm not going to belabor this point. I'll do a whole video on this knife. This is more about the nail mail call to say a big thank you to Th Thunderbird Gear and to share with you some of the, the content that'll be coming up on the channel because of this really cool mail call. So there you go, guys. I'm gonna put everything back in its package. Put this stuff up out of the way. And thank you very much for watching. Where did I put all that? There we go. Let's kind of give the, uh, there we go. We'll throw this in for the conclusion. Uh, so yeah. Uh, go over, check out Thunderbird Gear. They've got a lot of cool stuff in stock. 
um, big thank you to Steve for sending this all along. It definitely helps with channel content. And, uh, you know, if you, if you can, if you got, if Steve's got something in stock that you're interested in, go over and show him some support. Cause I, I do appreciate uh, Thunderbird gear and the job they do. And I've picked up a couple of things from there myself, not the least of which are these great little, you know, even if, even if this is all you need is a field notes book, go grab a field notes book from, uh, from Thunderbird gear really really handy tool to have and of course would make a great thing to combine with your uh, tactile turn bolt action pen so that you can have something to write with uh, in the book other than the little EDC pen that Steve sends. All right, there you go, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Check the description box and I'll put a link to Thunderbird gear over there so you can go check it out and we will talk to you soon.